Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Ashanti Monet for those who don't know me. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much. I appreciate you. To my new subscribers, make sure you subscribe, turn your post notification bell on so that every time I post, you be first to get it. And again, I cannot stress enough, guys. Please subscribe, 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 and join the family. I promise you will love it here. We're at 117 subscribers. We're on the road to 200. So let's get there and let's keep running them up. Now, guys, as you could tell by today's title, I'm going to give you a horror roommate story time when I was in college back in 2017, going to NCCU, which is Central University. So stay tuned. And yeah, I hope you guys like it. And here we go. So when i was in college i had started off with a first roommate and that roommate was younger than me way younger than me they put me with a young girl so i was cool with her or whatever i looked at her like a little sister because i was older and she was much younger than me and i noticed that she started to change and be different and she would come into the room like we're going to say late, late, which is fine because you don't have curfew in college, but she would start to bring people into our room that late to try to um, intimidate me and stuff. And that just won't going to fly. So I ended up getting, mind you, in our room, we had suite mates. So when you come into our suite, you got the living room, you got the bathroom, and then you got two rooms. I ended up getting the room that our other suite mate was in because she didn't have a roommate. So they switched me in that room and put her in the room with um, my old roommate. Yes, they did ask her, did she mind doing that? She said, no, she didn't mind. She would move over there. I guess she didn't want to be in a room by herself anyway. I ate it up. I love to be in a room by myself because I'm an introvert anyway. So I don't mind being by myself, guys. So... I ended up getting that room. Mind you, going into college, my grandma had just passed back in 2017 of April. And I was already in depression. Like, I really did not grieve her death or anything like that. So, when I went off to college and I was by myself and I could sit in my feelings and stuff. And I would just go on to class and back to my room. I kept falling deeper and deeper into the depression even more like I felt like I just could not get out of it. I would either I would even go to church. I was going to church, going back to my hometown church where when before I moved down to where I'm at now. This was in Durham, so of course you guys know that Central University is in Durham. So I went back to my church you know, was getting the word. I didn't let my pastor know, but my old pastor, I didn't explain to him or tell anybody there what I was going through and what happened to my grandma or anything like that. I was just keeping it to myself and, you know, just trying to get the word and feed my soul, but it wouldn't help because I was so deep into depression. Like my grandma was like my second mom. So I was really close with her. Like, my grandma loved me. I, I'm not trying to be mean or trying to be rude. It's not a lie, but I was my favorite. Uh, my grandma said that I was her favorite grandchild, and that's just the truth because she said she always felt like I and my mom genuinely loved her out of our entire family, and that's just what it is. So I was like this when my grandma did everything with my grandma when she was living. So I just could not come up out of that depression and the sweet mate that ended up giving me the room she was like you know this is not healthy you know you in depression you just need to get up and continue to go to church and stuff like that which i was already doing but i just could not get up out of that depression so i would just my routine was go to church go to class i did get out of my room sometimes and go work out because i was working out like i love to work out heavy then when i was in college plus i was on the track team so you know y'all can see but um i stopped working out for a little bit because i was like man i want to work out partner and the gym was so far from my dorm and you know the college was in the hood so it was just was not safe for me to be walking by myself 
And um, so yeah, I ended up um getting this female friend where she came and spent the night with me in my dorm room and um be quiet Milan. Okay, go ahead. Uh, so I ended up getting a roommate and I'm not a roommate, y'all. I'm sorry. I ended up getting a friend and she came and spent the night with me. She knew what I was going through and the depression and all of that. So she ended up going to church with me the next day. So I was out there recruiting people to go to church, y'all. See, I was still doing God's work and all, even in depression. So I had her go to church with me and we ended up coming back to my dorm room. She ended up leaving, going back to her dorm room, whatever. So long story short she didn't always come around or whatever so i was really lonely and so the more i got lonelier the more i was still into depression and stuff like that so i ended up one day getting a knock at my door and i asked who was it and the girl said your roommate and i'm like is this a joke no, this gotta be a joke because i don't have no roommate i've been having this room to myself the whole entire time so Okay, stop, Milan. My little sister is. But I've been having that room to myself the whole entire time. And I just didn't believe that I had a roommate. So I got up, opened the door. She was sure enough was my roommate. Had all her luggage and everything. And she was like, they assigned me to this room. And I was like, but dang, nobody told me that I was getting a roommate. Like, that was already going through depression. And I was kind of like, dang, this a bit much to have somebody in my room every day and I'm going through my grandma's death, like crying every day in depression, all of that. So the girl came on in, she was really nice, which I was not used to from females, but she was very nice. Um, She was introducing herself. We were chit chatting it up and all of that. And then she was like, you want to go with me to the store so I could get us some stuff for our room? And, you know, and I was just like, oh, she cool. Mind y'all, I had a whole bunch of food up under my bed and my trunk. But, I mean, you can never have too much stuff for your door to make sure you good. So, I was like, sure. So, we ended up going to the store. We got some food. She got some tissue, all of that, the whole nine. And she was legit sharing with me. I didn't ask this girl, but she was sharing with me. And I felt like that's what I needed. God sent me something that I needed in a friend because, you know, I was going through it. And she was just so sweet. And it was kind of making me feel better. Like I wasn't always staying depressed because now I got a roommate that's, you know, nice like me. So after we went to the store whatever we came back and i needed a job she was working at zaxby's i didn't have a job because my tuition was not paying for all of my classes so i needed a job as well to get money so that i could put towards my books and stuff like that and so i was talking to her about it and she was like oh bet i get you a job at my job at zaxby right now come in tomorrow and we'll speak to the manager that's exactly what we did. We went and we spoke to the manager and he gave me the job the same day because it was a man, he was black and all of that. And it was a bunch of guys working there and she was the only girl there. And then I was going to be the only other girl. So the guys was already flirting with me up off rip, but I won't on that type of time. I'm just like, I'm here to get my money. That's it. That's all. And I was being cordial to everybody. So that was that I ended up getting a job and then we started going to the movies together and I think yeah the movies was the last thing we did we went to the movies together and it was cool fun we seen people out there we were chatting it up meeting new people and all of that mind you she had a guy best friend that she introduced me to that I had started dating and me and him would talk every day. We was on the phone when we went to the movies and all of that. Like, yeah, even with all of that going on in the mix, I end up making a friend and getting a boyfriend. Like, y'all, I know. But, um, yeah, so every day we would go to work. The guys in the workplace would start flirting with me. And she didn't like that. 
So when we got back to the dorm room, mind you, I'm just I, I didn't think this girl was gonna be mad because some guys was um uh um flirting with me, but I didn't pay attention. Now that I think back on it. I noticed that when I worked out, yes, she became my gym partner and all of that because she was an athlete. She was a bodybuilder and she was an athlete or whatever. So she loved to work out and me and her started working out together. Um, You know, when you share dorm rooms and all of that, she was my friend, a female friend, and I ain't think nothing of it. So I would put my gym clothes on and... I had on, of course, underwear and panties or whatever, but I just put the gym top over and the pants under. And I don't know, one day I just caught her out of my peripheral vision. I caught her staring at me, so when I turned and looked at her like that, she turned her head. And I really didn't think nothing of it, and then we went and started working out that day. But fast forward back to her getting mad that the guys were flirting with me. So we get back to the dorm room and I and we talking about it and I'm like, yeah, they mad annoying. Like I'm just trying to work. I'm not on that type of time. I'm trying to keep my head afloat with my grandma passing, all of that. So then she decides she's going to say, well, if you tired of them flirting with you, tell them that I'm your girlfriend. I said, what, girl, you crazy. Why would I tell them you're my girlfriend? I don't like girls. I'm not gay. You know that. I'm straight. So why would I tell them that? She was like, I mean, it's nothing wrong if you want them to stop flirting with you. I'm like, it ain't never that serious. They could flirt. They guys. That's what guys going to do. Like, but I'd rather them flirt with me than a lie and say that you my girlfriend and mess up my reputation. She got mad because she was like, well, if you don't want to tell them that I'm your girlfriend, then let them keep flirting with you. Then I said, okay, that's fine. They can keep flirting with me because I don't care. Like, I'm not gay. Of course, you know that. You know I'm going with your guy best friend and all of that. So um, she got really upset and stuff like that. And I like she didn't want to talk to me no more, which was fine because I'm like, I'm too grown for that. So it came nighttime and I was on my own bed and I was talking to my guy best friend. I'm not my guy best friend, y'all. I'm sorry. My guy boyfriend we was on the phone and I was telling him what was going on and what she was doing. And he got upset. He was mad. He was like, bro, why is she tripping? Like, that's his, that was his best friend. But, you know, I was his girl. So he's just like, I'm not going to put her over my girl. He was mad. Like, he was really mad. And she got up, she left out the room. But let me fast run back because I forgot a part. Like, I should have known that something was up with her because from the time that I told y'all she was looking at me when I was putting on my um, workout clothes, one day we was in the dorm room and I had my computer at the time and I was playing Love and Basketball and we didn't have a tv so we both wanted to watch it and so i told her she could sit on my bed and we could watch it together and that's what we ended up doing we was watching it and i ended up falling asleep and when i woke up i think it was like one or two in the morning she was still on my bed on the side of me sleep and i hit i started tapping her like this and she woke up and I said, girl, why are you still in my bed? Get out of my bed and go get in your bed. Like, and she got up out of her bed and went and got in her bed. So that was a red flag number two. But my mind just won't thinking about none of that because, mind you, I'm grieving my grandma. So, And then I'm thinking she a friend. So not thinking nothing of it. And two, I didn't think she was gay. I thought the girl was straight because when she first came to our room, she told me how her boyfriend was beating on her and all of that stuff. And she was she was trying to get away from him. And her getting this dorm room was a way for her to get away from him so that he couldn't find her and all of that. So I did not know that girl was gay. She kept saying that she only liked guys. So yeah, but that was red flag number two. So fast forward back to her guy best friend, which was my boyfriend being upset. He was upset and she was over on her bed 
and she started getting mad like you need to get off the phone i'm trying to go to sleep and all of this so she now trying to start and make confrontation with me i always talk late at night and she never had a problem with it but she only had a problem with it because I didn't want her, and I won't gonna say she was my girlfriend. So this girl jumps up and try to fight me the whole nine, like because I did not want her, like legit tried to, and she was bigger than me, y'all. The girl, I, like I told y'all, she was a bodybuilder and everything. She was really huge. She was bigger than me. So I'm just like, and he's on the phone, so he hearing everything that's going on, and. He like, what in the world? And I'm just like, man, this is overwhelming. I'm already going through it. Like, I thought she was my friend. She was distract distracting me from, you know, being depressed from crying over my grandma. And it was just so much. And I just could not take it. And I ended up getting off the phone with him, called my mom, I'm crying on the phone, telling my mama what's going on. And I'm like, mom, this is just too much. I want to come back home, like, I got to come back home to completely heal, like, and I'm telling her everything that I'm telling y'all, and she ended up sending my oldest brother up there to get me, he ended up coming, and so the girl had, they had done already moved a girl out of my dorm room, because she was trying to fight me and all of that, or whatever, and so when my brother came up and got me, he was helping me pack my things up, and she came back to the room she didn't expect nobody to be in there she came back to, to the room to pick with me so when she walked in she got caught off guard because she seen my oldest brother mind you again i gotta emphasize again this girl is a bodybuilder so she's really big she's standing up tall she was taller than my brother and she was built like a guy like so when she came in she got caught off guard with my brother being there my brother noticed that she was walking in trying to start something with me because she was about to say something until she seen him. And when she seen him, she immediately stopped. And so my brother stood up like this, like waiting to see if she was going to try to do something because he like, you ain't going to put your hands on my sister. Like, no, he don't hit females. But the girl was a bodybuilder and built like a man. He just like, you not about to put your hands on my sister like and she littler than you like no like what no so she didn't really say too much because he was in there she ended up getting her mess all of the rest of her mess and then she left and i continued to pack my clothes and my ra and everybody was looking like they was like where are you going like i was like this is beginning to be too much I can't take this. I'm out. And I left. I ain't even gonna cap, y'all. I left. In the middle. Right in the middle. I didn't stay there. The longest I stayed there at that college was for four weeks. And then after four weeks, I dipped. So you you can only imagine that that's the beginning of school. College, all of that. Classes, all of that. I left. It was just too much for me. Because I'm just like... You want to fight me because I'm not gay and I'm not going to tell nobody mm -hmm. that you're my girlfriend when I like men. It's never that serious. Men are going to be men. You were mad jealous because they wanted me. Okay, but don't try to put off your gayness onto me. That's a problem. But yeah, that's it, guys. Like, I ended up leaving. I dip. It's short. It's simple. That was crazy. I'm like... I've never experienced nothing like that in my life. So to experience that around the time of my grandma's death was just crazy. It was just too much for me and I had to go. But anyway, guys, that'll be all for today's horror story on my roommate. And stay tuned for the next video. Again, make sure you guys subscribe. Get me to 200 subscribers and let's keep it running up. Because, you know, guys, we got to... You know, we a family now, so we got to keep going. We got to keep going because my dream is to get over to 100K so I can get a plaque and we can look back at when I first started. So, yeah, guys, thank you for tuning in. And like I said, stay tuned for the next video. My little sister gives me the video. Stay tuned until the next video and I will see you guys. Have a blessed day.